Channel these thoughts the best way I know how. Love you, Jesse. Let's get into it. They help me. Yeah, not solving the crime. Oh, they solved the crime. You know, I know he ain't talking about the Chicago Police Department that spent, I think, a hundred thousand dollars on a, a false allegation, a false uh, uh, report. You know what I mean? They solved the crime. They used their resources, right, and uh, Chicago taxpaying dollars to solve the crime. And discovered that Jesse Smollett was a fraud, you know. Taking out the elements of race and trans and homophobia. That's straight he should have said exploiting the elements of race and trans and homophobia. That's collecting money for these activists. Taking lives, but turn around and act like I'm the one that killed the strides. Maybe we stick together. Maybe we read more of these. Instead of saying that it's above me now. Brother, you sure? I can't be mad. Take my ego out. Who said, who said it was above anyone? When Jussie Smollett first came out with this whole allegation of someone, you know, Trump supporters, right? Talking about this MAGA country and they had a noose around his neck and all this stuff. When that story came out, I mean, it made headlines all over. You know what I mean? He had interviews. People were lining up to interview Jussie Smollett. You know what I mean? It was a dream for him, right? Because he finally got the spotlight that he was looking for. But who said it was over their head? You know what I mean? It just didn't go the way Jesse Smollett thought the situation was going to go. He didn't think the people, right? He didn't think law enforcement, right? The police were going to find out the truth, you know? Some people searching for fame. Some people chasing that cloud. That would be you, sir. Just remember this. This ain't that situation. You think I'm stupid enough to keep my reputation? Absolutely. Plenty of uh, actors and musicians have done this in the past. Plenty of uh, uh, of entertainers have killed their reputation. Uh, look at Michael Vick, dog fighting. Never thought that it would come back and destroy. His, well, I ain't gonna say it destroyed his career, but never thought that that he would be held accountable for that and have to do jail time, prison time for that. Never thought it would come back on him like that. You know what I mean? You have actors and entertainers who do drugs, die from over overdose. You know, look at Juice World. Died, I think he died on a plane or at an airport. So absolutely, people kill their reputation. Absolutely. Jesse Smollett, his thing was, it's not enough to just be rich. You know, he's already got the money. He already has the status. You know, there's a, another hierarchy that these people, right, they try to get into. You know, and that's what it was about. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think uh, Jesse Smollett would wager his reputation if it means that he can gain another level of status. Simply to look like a victim, like it's something fun. I better look at something. Absolutely, it's fun. It's, it's Being a victim is fun for uh, people in the inner city, right, who, who want reparations and, and want to claim that, you know, they're getting killed by police. It's fun to be out looting stores, getting things that you wouldn't normally be able to afford on your own. It's fun for these Olympic athletes, right, during the season, like right now. You know, nothing's really going on. They can make a living off of uh, social justice. You know, it's fun for the the, uh, the founders and the co-founders of Black Lives Matter who have this real estate portfolio built off of the money donated to Black Lives Matter, right? From major corporations, from the people, right? People never saw it. Black community never saw it, right? It's fun for Colin Kaepernick being a victim, got his Netflix special, you know what I mean? He, he got uh, Nike deals, you know, he's trying to get back into the slave uh, the the plantation uh, NFL. So yeah, I would say being a victim is fun. Absolutely. Someone else, it's the wrong one. Yeah, we got the right one. I want to thank y'all. I know I still got you. It's for the people who kept it real, kept it true. Like, let me phrase that, cause the narrative they play. I really understand the reason why y'all felt betrayed. They had my own people. Thoughts going off the wall. That's who is your own people? And what made them that way? Who made who made them your people? That's why from LD to Don, I still got love for y'all. I know we'll meet again. Talk like real men instead of sharing shape. Real men. <laughs> yeah. In rooms and up on CNN. On this mad line, still I'm pushing through the clouds. All I ever really wanted to do is make my people proud. Famous. 
Who is your people? Who are you representing? And what what made whoever he's talking about? What made them your people? You know. Not real. It's how you make them feel. Celebrity is for the birds. I ain't no man still. That's cap. That's it's all about fame, man. That's why he did it. It's all about fame. He, he created this. He fabricated this whole story. Anybody who could fabricate an entire story, they come up with the time, the conditions of the day. You know, they come up with these, this ridiculous scenario. These people are sociopaths. They're crazy. You know what I mean? And it's all about them. It's narcissistic. Really, really what he did was narcissistic. It's all about getting as much fame and as much attention as possible. And let's say the Chicago Police Department, let's say they, they were, let's say if they were never able to find out, you know, that uh, Jussie Smollett story was a hoax, you know, he would have rolled this out and he would have probably joined hands with Netflix, joined hands with Colin Kaepernick and, 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 and made even more money. Man, what this is the pure definition of guys. I'm gonna say it's the pure definition of black privilege. You know what I mean? Jussie Smollett, he was found guilty of a crime, and I think he spent like a, a two days in jail. They ended up filing his lawyers filed an appeal, got him out of jail, and now he's doing this. You know what I mean? There's no accountability for what he did, the resources that he wasted, and you know he, quite frankly, attempted to start the race war. You know, which is a, that there's a lot of people on both sides, right? You got some radical right groups that want to do that. You got some radical left groups, right? Uh, and these social justice activists that want to do this. They want to start the race war. And that's what Jesse Smollett did. He was never held accountable. And the only thing this reminds me of is these zero dollar uh, uh, bail bonds, right? Or these, yeah, these, these bond amounts. Where people are getting arrested and they're just getting right back on the streets. Now Jesse Smollett, he's going to make this song, right? He's going to, you know, maintain his innocence. He'll probably get some interviews and whatever else. And he'll get back out there. He'll recover his career. And when the next election, which is what midterms is coming up in November, uh, when the presidential election comes up in 2024, he'll be out there joining hands with Black Lives Matter and they'll do the same thing they did when George Floyd died. They'll raise all this money, raise millions of dollars, pay everybody off on top, maybe secure a few, uh, a few uh, House seats and uh, Senate seats for some Democrats, you know, and, 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 and be rich and milk the system. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. You guys know where I stand, you know, with this social justice rhetoric, this fake victimhood mentality, but I could be wrong about this. I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are in the comment section box below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel for more content.